going everyone welcome back to another video i'm joe from joe's collector's corner and another week has gone by we've been to a car boot it was freezing this morning it was like minus one minus two something like that i drove to the car boot there was nobody in the queue it was the smallest car boot i've ever been to it was shocking i decided to go i paid for parking and then somehow pretty much bought something from every single store we went to so i've actually got bags full of stuff i couldn't believe it the, the the car boot was empty. They didn't even fill the first main car park up. And we've just bought an absolute ton of stuff. We spent about £85 in total. We'll go through it all in a second. In terms of sales this week, it's been phenomenal. We've done over £800 in sales. Q4 is booming. Christmas time is coming. We've done amazing. We had a couple of weeks of about £600. And then this week, way over £800. Just amazing. Yeah. Super happy with that. We'll go through that at the end of the video. Now then, let's go through what we bought. I guess we'll go through the smallest bag first. We actually bought this nice Adidas um, trefoil uh, gym bag. Really nice, just a small one, little carry on kind of thing. I figured I may as well buy it while I'm there because it's Adidas. I tend to buy Adidas or Nike bags. They always seem to sell. And you know, I can carry more stuff in it. We did fill it up. Paid a pound on this. Uh, my brother-in-law bought Windows 98, which is worth about 50 quid for a pound. And then he saw this one from the same guy and said, buy it, Joe. Let's see what it's worth. It is a Micrographs Graphics Suite 2 all-in-one uh, software system. It is for Windows 95 and Windows NT. It is ridiculously heavy, so I'm guessing it's got some manuals in it. I think the copy of Windows he had had the serial number in, so with any luck, this has got all the codes we need and it might be worth more than a pound. We then got this brand new and sealed pack of Papermate uh, photo paper for an Epson Photomate 500 printer, which I think I've actually got one of those printers, or we might have recently sold one. Brand new and sealed, never been opened, probably worth about 15 quid, paid maybe a pound. We got some new scissors, because our scissors are just covered in tape and you just can't cut anything with them, so that's a bonus of the car boot. I then want, uh, I bought this for 50p. It's a sealed Happy Meals toy. It's a My Little Pony um, in a little house. Um, the guy then chucked in an open version. It's probably brand new. It's just not got the bag, but that one does. So they're probably not worth out. But for 50p, I bundle them together. I sold some. Uh, I sold some Furby um, Happy Meal stuff, brand new and sealed, and got like 20 quid for that. So you never know with old Happy Meal stuff. There's sometimes a bit of money in it. Uh, we then bought this, uh, which I've got no idea on prices. I just couldn't find one. I think I paid three quid. Um, it is a Konus Handy 18. Um, I think it's a viewfinder for... I don't think you hook it up to a camera. They make scopes. Um, it's labelled as being a Handy 18. Um, so I'm guessing it's just like a scope, like a rangefinder. Yeah, mini mini telescope. Yeah, pretty cool. Does it have any cracks in it? Let's find out. Problem is, it's like pitch black and I've got glasses. No idea. Who knows? We'll try in the daytime. But, you know, for, for three quid, with its original bag, and in pretty good condition, hopefully there'll be a bit of money in that. You never know with this kind of stuff. Sometimes they can just be worth an absolute fortune. Bag one is complete. Let's start with bag two, probably one of the heavier ones. Four quid. We bought the Chronicles of Narnia book set. Recent sold at 55 on this with a stock photo. This is brand new and sealed. I might even do the same thing. Hopefully, you know, 40, 50 quid, you never know, from about four pound. And that was just a complete guess at the end of the boot sale. I bought a carrier bag full of remotes because it was two quid. And there is at least like a Toshiba remote, couple of Toshibas, there's a Sony remote, and there's at least one Samsung remote, some of them are brand new, LG, you know, if they're for old sound systems or telly, people are always going to want replacements, and this bag full for two quid could potentially be, that could potentially be the most profitable thing I bought this weekend, and I just didn't know, but you never know with remotes, you can do amazing on them. Next thing from the same guy, I paid 20 quid for just a load of different kind of systems. We bought a Sandstrom speaker. This is for an old iPod. I'm hoping it's got some kind of aux so we can test it, but maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. He reckoned it was working. I think it was a regular trader. He's there all the time. 
paid 20 quid for these three things. This one, oh, took this out. This one seems to be worth about 30 plus postage. Hopefully the speakers are okay in it. I didn't check any of these. Like I said, it's 20 quid for the three different things. So I thought, you know, the remotes are probably worth that. This is a Gen Xer compact disc CD player, but it looks like a cool amp, which is why I got it. Never even heard of it, but you know, when they've got these circular stands, like uh, Denon and Arkham do, I thought maybe it's worth a bit of money, but it is just a CD player, I think. Double resolution, digital filter, optical pickup pack, no idea, but it looks like a proper beefy piece of kit. And he was like, I normally get 15 quid for these all day long, but I want to get rid, so a fiver, and it's yours, and it's got the original remote, so that's probably got value in itself. Um, and then finally, again, not checked any comps on these, but I think it's got its original remote. Let's have a look. Uh, it's not original, but hopefully it works for it. It is a Philips DVD recorder. Sometimes, you know, I've, I've managed to get a few DVD recorders and done quite well on them. But I know if you get the right ones like LG, Blu-ray, you're looking at 200 quid. This one, no idea, cost me about a fiver from that bundle. So hopefully if it's working, there'll be a little bit of money in it. Bag number two is down. I think the bags just keep getting bigger as well. <laughs> I think this is everything we've got now. Um, I picked this up because it was 50p and whenever I see Lord of the Rings I like to buy it. It's the Two Towers BBC Radio Collection. It has cracked the case but it's all in there. I'm looking at about 12 quid on that from 50p. I thought it was worth it. I bought a pair of sketches. I know Rummage Around just raves about sketches and I just never seem to find them. Just a bog standard pair I think. Um, I'm just checking now if the condition's okay because it was pitch black. And they look to be pretty good. Paid three quid on those sketches there. They had a nice pair of Columbia snow boots, but they were tiny. She wanted a tenner for them, and then three quid on these sketches. So, you know, I thought it was definitely worth a go on them. We bought a sealed Bakugan. It would cost me about four quid, but I just like having them. I've not sold one yet. I got some from TK Maxx, trying to get into RA. Paid like five quid each. Still got them up on the store. I could always bundle them together as, as like a triple pack, and maybe they'll fetch more money. But you never know. If you get the right one, there can be some good value in these. A couple of educated guesses now, and actually, in the middle of it, I found a free uh, Energizer head torch, so if we get some batteries for that, that might be quite handy at the car boot actually, <laughs> instead of using my phone. <laughs> so I bought a Wilson uh, baseball glove, because I've never had one before, and I just thought, it's an adult size one. It feels like leather, it feels pretty good, it's, it's obviously worn quite a bit, but you know, it does add to the, the look. It's a Wilson flex back, looks really cool, never had one, thought it was worth a go. I think I got a bundle of that, um, the free head torch. We also got a VTEC camera, shout out to Masterpieces. He picked up two of these recently and got decent money on them. Here we go, we've got one here with its original bag and a random AV cable actually as well. So hopefully, I think these take batteries and we can actually try it without needing to buy a charger. And then we also got in that bundle a walkie-talkie because I just thought it was worth a go for a couple of quid it's a Motorola walkie-talkie I think he said it takes batteries which it does so with any luck we can get that powered up and that might be worth a little bit of money too I bought a bundle of die-cast cars and planes you know from Disney uh, cars no idea on the value of them but there's quite a lot of them I paid four quid for them all there's a couple there there's, there's actually a ton, there's probably nearly 20 of them. I think there were two or three plastic ones and then the rest are all die cast, but there's a few planes and then some funky looking uh, like trucks as well. But yeah, some nice ones. I've never actually picked up a large bundle of these and I think they do quite well as a whole and you never know, it's kind of like Monster Jam Monster Trucks. Sometimes they can be worth a tenner on their own. So, you know, for four quid, I just asked her how much she wants for them all and she, we settled on that price, so it was a bargain really. Another, I've actually bought quite a lot of the <laughs> recorders and stuff today. Um, I think I checked the price on this one. I think it's worth about 30 quid. It's another Philips, different kind. Um, I think it's actually, is it a VHS to DVD recorder? I think it might be. She's pretty cool. But yeah, no remote, but nice little piece. Don't really know how I'm gonna test it, but hopefully we can get it to read something, that'd be good. And then we'll just hope for the best. Again, just another guess on this. 
I'll try and pick them up when they're cheap. Paid four quid just for an LG uh, Blu-ray player. Might be worth 15, 20 quid, you never know. Sometimes you can drop on and they can be worth 40. But yeah, it's an older one. Uh, it does actually have HDMI, so um, you never know. It might be a 20 quid. I picked up this because I think I've seen it on YouTube. I'm sure someone of you guys have bought it. I'm pretty sure it's a massage, uh, massage roller thing for like your legs, like that, I think. I could be completely wrong. It looks like something that you like dry your trousers through, but I think it is a massage roller. It's not very big, but it was like a pound. So I'll Google lens it and try and sell it <laughs> for a bit of money. Finally, first buy of the day actually, which is probably why they're buried at the bottom of the bag. I got two pairs of Nike shorts. And I think they're quite good. Um, I got this pair here that are on a red tag. I don't think it's the text stuff though. I can't remember how you figure it out. I'm not sure what year they are, but they're a men's size large, 100% genuine, really nice. Yeah, just like a classic black. They feel like trunks almost, but with a red tag, I thought it was worth a go. And then I got these, which are a black tag. Again, I've got no idea how I figure out the year, but these are like a funky blue pair with Nike all the way down the side. But yeah, really cool. Black tag, red tag, they were £1.50 each, so they're at least going to be worth a tenner each, aren't they? Normally they're worth quite a bit more. That is everything we bought. It's actually getting like super dark outside. Now I've noticed now that winter's come and I've changed the way the setup works. I don't actually have enough lights to uh, fit, to, to light myself up. So that's a, a bit of a shame. <laughs> I think we'll get darker as the video goes on. That's everything we bought. Let's go through some sales. Like I said, sales have been really good this week. We've hit over 800 pounds. Got my iPad today instead of my laptop, so it'll be a bit easier to go through sales. We'll start with Vinted. First things we sold was a vintage Adidas fleece from 1999. That went on offer for 35 quid. Don't don't forget with Vinted, there's no fees and the buyer's paying for the postage as well. So it was 35 pound in my pocket. Paid about four quid. We then sold a pair of Levi's. These are the Levi's 501 premiums with the uh, the big E on the back on the back red tab. They were a 3232. They went for 23 pound on Vinted. So they paid for postage again. I seem to be selling a lot of Levi's through Vinted and I always send out 23 pounds and I never go lower. We tend to sell for that price. We then sold a pair of Reese uh, jeans. These were bought in the last video from the charity shop. They went for 20 quid on Vinted. Flip over to eBay now where we can actually go through the sales in order as well because we've got the right view. First thing we sold was a Build-A-Bear Pikachu from the Facebook pickup that went for £11.50 plus postage, so about £15 all in. We then sold the Dyson battery charger, just the plug from that Dyson that we sold that I split up into parts. That went for £12.99 plus postage. I tend to charge, if it's a small parcel, I charge £3.49. So when I say plus postage, you know, if it's a small item, that's basically how much it's going to cost, £3.50. We then sold a Fat Face Lumberjack uh, shirt from the charity shop from the video, the last one, that went £15 plus postage. We then sold a pair of Tommy Hilfiger chinos. I bought these when I bought a load of stuff from a charity shop run a couple of weeks back. Hugo Boss jeans and I got some Tommy Hilfigers thinking they'll probably have some value. They don't really. I've made a little bit of money on them. They went for £19 plus postage on them. We sold the Walt Disney Moana, um, what are they called? Showcase collection figure. That went for £20 plus postage. First pair of the £2 football boots have gone. The Puma V6 flame orange and grey ones, they went for £27.95 plus postage. Another Lego outdoor, I think this was when we had three left, that went for full price, £59.99 plus postage. We sold the Doctor Who bedside lamp. This was like the homemade handcrafted thing. I think it was made from like a collector's tin and they've created a lamp out of it. I had that up for £49.99 plus postage. Was never going to get that. It's probably worth about 20 I paid five. Somebody sent me an offer of £40 plus £7 postage. And I took that, snapped it up. They paid straight away. And it's already been delivered. So hopefully they're happy. We then sold the vintage Homer Simpson silk tie. Paid 50p. That went for £12 all in. I'm pretty happy with that. I can believe that. <laughs> Again, from the Facebook, one of the Facebook pickups, we sold our first Skylander Superchargers. This was the Bowser with his vehicle. That went for £12.50 plus postage. So £16 all in. Shout out to Kieran from Rummage Around. We sold some Ikea stuff. Finally. 
when you first brought a bike here i found a shelf that's brand new and sealed bought that it's worthless can't get rid of it this time i bought a pendulum like lamp shade that went for 25 pound plus five pound postage so 30 quid all in and i paid two pound 50 at the boot sale so really happy with that keep your eye out for ikea super quick sale on this i bought a rohan walking jacket from a charity shop on the way to pick up something from facebook that sold within a day for 33 pounds plus postage so well chuffed with that sold a day after the adidas fleece on vinted the nike y2k puffer jacket bought from the same shop at the same time they sold within a day of each other i don't know how i managed that i think they've been listed for about three months yeah that went for 47 pounds all in we then sold a jacks amazing spider-man plug and play game console that went for 14 pound 99 plus postage when I, when I got down to two Lego sets remaining, I upped the price by a tenner and one sold straight away for $69.99 plus postage. They then paid a little bit extra after messaging me for next day delivery. So they paid about £75 in, all in for that. I've got one left and it's been upped to £99.99 pence plus postage. <laughs> I'll take an offer on it, but it's the last one I've got remaining and I've sold, you know, seven of them. Six of them at 60 quid plus postage, one at 70 plus postage. For some reason these lego sets are flying out and they're only small but you can't get them anywhere so you never know i might make 100 pounds off that last one quick flip not a lot of profit but we sold a lord of the rings blu-ray trilogy that i bought from a charity shop i think i paid like three quid and it, i only sold it for seven plus postage so a little quick flip but like i said when it's lord of the rings i'm gonna buy it because i like lord of the rings and it does seem to sell quite quick even if it's not for a lot of profit well chuffed with this one the Facebook pick up the last one of the video. I paid £20 for that huge Diagostini set that's gone on a slight offer for £77 all in. I've got to package it tonight, it's got to go out tomorrow. It's in that massive box there, and I don't think it's going to fit with bubble wrap, so I'm going to have to find an even bigger box to send that in. Last flip of the weekend, this came in late on Saturday. It is the Oxford Sports uh, Lifetime Luggage Bag. The red one's brand new with a load of accessories inside it. That went for £34.99 plus £7 postage. That's everything that sold. It's about 830 quid somewhere around there, so over £800. Really happy with that for Christmas. I'm not sure what the following week's going to be like because it's a bit too close to get these deliveries to arrive for Christmas presents. Hopefully people realise that. I've had a lot of parcels go missing and a lot of people claiming that it's way past the due date. And you know, what can you do? There's strikes. You can get your parcels on time, but people just don't understand that. So that's everything that sold this week, over £800. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we bought. I realise now that there's a lot of systems that need power testing and testing, and hopefully they all work. You never know with this kind of stuff, but I think we'll do pretty well. If you guys have had a good week, you bought anything cool, you've sold anything amazing, let me know in the comments down below or message me on Instagram. I'm always interested to have a chat. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.